lots of birds in my backyard right now. Okay, let's go find them. Oh, there's the moon. Way up there. There's the moon. I hear nut hatches. And I hear chickadees. Oh, I see a magpie. Hello. Hi. Hi. Look what just fell into my mixing bowl. That's so beautiful. And it matches my spatula. Ooh, nature. Should we keep it in? Comment down below. <laughs> Could you imagine? Hi! Welcome to STEM Kitchen. This is Karen Beer. Hi! So, Karen Beer, where do you work? What organization are you with right now? Uh, I'm working with the Yellowstone to Yukon Conservation Initiative. <laughs> As the name suggests, they work in, in the region between Yellowstone all the way to Yukon. Mm -hmm trying to connect and protect habitat for wildlife as well as for humans. Amazing! And we get to do some fun partnering, so I'm really, really excited about that. And today we, okay, so we had a meeting a while ago and we discovered that we both have a passion for birding. We love the birds, we love to watch them. How long have you been into birds? Uh, for at least five years now, I'd say just healthy five years. Nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just they're just so majestic. I think part of me wants to be a bird, like to just like fly. You know, like they're just such beautiful creatures. Do you have a Do you have a favorite bird? Uh, I believe I do. What is it? I love raptors in general, uh, but one of my favorite raptor and how I got into birding is a uh, frigidus hawk. Oh. Uh, they're usually found in southern Alberta. Raptors are not dinosaurs, just so you know. That's true. <laughs> Although technically all birds are dinosaurs. Well, all right. I mean. <laughs> Science. <laughs> um, okay. Well, we wanted to like put our love of birding together for this episode. So um, we're outside in this beautiful maple tree backdrop, dodging branches, and we're gonna make bird seed bars, but not for birds for humans. Okay, so we're gonna make bird seed bars, which are exactly what they sound like. There's a bunch of seeds in a bar form, and we're gonna eat them. I'm sure the birds will be jealous, but we're not gonna feed them because, you know, just feed yourself, not the birds. Um, so let's let's do this. I'm gonna, let's I'm do it. gonna tell you what to do, and we can do it together. Sounds good. I'm gonna good. follow this little note recipe here. I'll just make my maple syrup. There you go, stay, okay. Half a cup of pumpkin seeds. Okay. Great, and I need half a cup of sunflower seeds. Yes. So I'm gonna do two quarter cups of sunflower seeds, a heaping cup of coconut flakes, and I'll do a quarter cup of sesame seeds. I'm gonna do, okay, a quarter cup of chia. Ch -ch -ch chia. Quarter cup of flax for you. Thank you. And I'll do a little bit of salt, a generous pinch of salt. I see, I feel like a generous pinch is like that many shakes, maybe? I'm not really sure. That sounds really good. Half a cup, okay, it doesn't call for um, peanut butter, but I think we should put some in anyway because peanut butter is really good. Where did I, here it is. Here's some peanut butter. Okay. And if you wanna put in half a cup of maple syrup in there and mix it together. I'm, I'm surprised that the birds aren't like swarming for this treat. Like, I thought we'd have to be like... That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Hitting them away. Okay, we have everything, and all we need is a little... Oh, the leaves are coming. The leaves are... The leaves want to be into the into the recipe. Let's put that in there. Just <laughs> a little bit of vanilla, just a splash. Boop. I think this will work. I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, the syrup is kind of helping the peanut butter melt a little bit. Or That's right. Liquify. So, Cambridge, do you do a lot of cooking or baking? Uh, I try to do co uh, some cooking sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. More cooking other times. Uh, <laughs> it all depends, you know, some timing and what have you. Yeah, because um, you're busy. Like, you're, are you a student and working? I, yes, that's correct. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, in grad school right now, so mm -hmm. uh, sometimes don't have enough time. So I remember. But <laughs> I, this is probably the healthiest thing I'm going to make in weeks. <laughs> So this is great. Okay, good. Well, you can take it all home with you. Oh my goodness, that's very generous. <laughs> I'm so glad. Okay, so this is perfect. 
So now all we're gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of mix this up because I forgot the other spoon inside. So I'm just gonna shake a shake a shake up. And then you're just gonna go ahead and I'm like giving you all the hard jobs. This is great. This is why you have guests on the show. They do the hard things. <laughs> And you're going to put it all in here and just mix, mix it, it all so it's incorporated. We're going to put it in this pan and bake it. But How I'm, long do you bake it for? Uh, I'll tell you. Oh, I'm, I'm caught. I'm caught on the... There we go. So what you do is you mix it, you stick it in the pan, and you bake it for 40 to 50 minutes, depending on your mm. oven, at 325. So low and long for a nice crispy bar. Okay, that's... Wonderful, that's really good. That was nice and quick. So now we're just gonna shove it into a little pan like this big-ish, I don't know, eight by eight, I'm not even sure. With some parchment, so you're gonna just shove it in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a leaf in there. <laughs> Again. I feel like the leaves just really wanna be in here. Ooh, look at this precision. Caran beer, well oh, done. Yes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna squish it down, squish, 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 squish it down, all the way, squishy, squishy, squish, 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 squish. I find because it's so jam packed with like seeds and like the sugar and the peanut butter, it's just like a nice quick fuel up if you're like hiking or camping or whatever. So we're gonna squish it down so it's generally flat. And then, yeah, bake it at 325 for like 40 to 50 minutes. And once the edges start to get golden brown, you can take it out of the oven let it cool and then you can cut it or you can freeze it and then cut it like it just lasts it's just awesome it's really really good so let's go cook it and we'll see you in a little bit ta-da <laughs> the magic of youtube we're done <laughs> and look here they are look how beautiful that looks amazing yeah like golden like the coconut kind of got caramelized a little bit like the peanut butter and the sugary stuff just melted together like so good um, so these are ready for trying. Let's have a little bite, see how it is, and then let's take them, take them on the road and do some birding. Yeah, let's okay. do it. Okay, okay. great. Mm. That is so good. Mm. I bet if Gordon Ramsay were here, he would <laughs> like it too. Okay, we're gonna go birding now with our snacks. I have binoculars. Check. You do too? Yes. Okay, what else do we need? Anything else? Uh, just some uh, warm clothes, and uh, if you have a bird book that you'd like to bring along, feel free to. But we can also use some really cool apps to help us bird. I think a cool thing that we're going to do is we're not going to go very far. We're going to stay in my neighborhood because I think something that people don't realize is that we have such beautiful access to nature, birds, and beauty, basically in our own backyards. Like here in the heart of a big city, Edmonton, um, there's so many beautiful things that you can see. Like. Flickers, chickadees, blue, like there's just everything. So we're not even gonna go that far. Absolutely. We can walk around the park and see what we can find. Let's see what we can find. Okay. I see a basketball court. Do birds like basketball courts? Oh, I see a Mac 5. Do, do, do. Turn around. Hello, baby. It is, it's frigid. Do you know what I realized about magpies? Is that they actually, um, I don't know where she went, but that's okay. They actually uh, sit on the side of your house. Like they will perch on the side of your house, like on the wall, kind of like flickers and stuff and creepers. I didn't know that, but I saw a magpie land on the side of a house and I was like, excuse you? <laughs> like what? Right. It's so funny. Oh. There's a pigeon! Oh, right. <laughs> pigeon, the exotic bird of Edmonton. Pigeons. Oh, we got to see it fly. How rare. Have you ever been involved in a in a bird count, like the Christmas bird count or any kind of birding activities like that? Uh Great Canadian Birdathon. Birdathon? Great Canadian bird yeah, That's right. So uh, it sounds it's a, exciting. It's a coordinated effort and you can sign up as a team or as an individual. I've only ever done the Christmas bird count. I did it here in Edmonton and I, I went with this like really pro couple that had been doing it for years. Yeah. And I, it was the dead of winter and I looked and I saw way across the creek. I saw a robin inside a spruce tree just wow. huddling there. The silhouette of a robin. Yeah. 
and uh, they confirmed it with the binoculars and they were like, in all the years, I've never seen an overwintering robin, but I know that they exist. There's only like, they only count like 50 every year and I got to count one of them. That's it's amazing. so cool. Yeah. I felt like so profesh. <laughs> so yeah, some robins, so robins, some robins overwinter in Edmonton. They don't all go warm places. Yeah, like we might not have seen a lot of birds this morning, but that's fine. It's cold and usually you can see a ton in this park, but like going to the river valley, going to the creek, going any natural place in the city, you can find, look at that sun in the back. That's so pretty. <laughs> you can find so many different, you know, species, animals, so lovely. What else can you tell me about Y to Y and some of the work that they do? Uh, so one of the things that we are trying to do is that uh, trying to protect and connect uh, large landscapes and habitats. Yeah. That's because species like grizzly bears. Grizzly bears! Rawr! <laughs> they need a lot of space. Uh, they're big animals. To, they're, to live. they're large. They really like to roam. They really like to walk. <laughs> <laughs> do they? Uh, huh. And so we are trying to protect and connect these landscapes uh, that have historically somewhat disconnected. Mm, um, yeah. And you probably have seen the example of some of the work we uh, uh, we try to advocate for and we are involved in such as wildlife crossings. Oh, the if wildlife you have, crossings, yeah, yes. So if you've gone to By Banff, you probably would have seen some of those. They're the coolest. Uh, yeah, so uh, why do I really a uh, big advocate for um, establishing uh, safe wildlife crossings, both overpasses and underpasses, so that mm. wildlife can actually connect from uh, one part of their habitat to the other and safely travel because it also helps m makes driving on the roads safe for us too well because... yeah because we're the ones that kind of messed up their whole habitat by putting roads in and like all these like human-made things so it's so good that we there's a blue jay ah. oh, that's wonderful yeah we saw a blue jay Karen Bear is getting his binoculars out look at that a birder in action folks yeah like it's it's just this is why I love the work that Why Do I is doing because I feel like for me in Stump Kitchen, I'm really all about like accessibility and connecting people and making sure that we all have access to the things that we desire to do in our lives and you know, talking lots about accessibility in the kitchen but also in the world because the world that we live in really serves to disable and disadvantage folks who are different and folks who have disabilities and in a lot of the same ways that's what we're doing to animals by our culture, society, roads, everything, you know, pollution. Right. And so to work to help remedy that, I think is so important. Oh, this has been such a pleasure, Karen Beer. Like I, I could walk and chat with you all morning, <laughs> but it's too cold. <laughs> no, thank you so much, Alexis, for yeah. uh, working with the Ellison to Yukon Conservation Initiative. Yeah, uh, it's this, my pleasure. This has been wonderful. Yeah. And uh, yeah, again, for folks, if they want to learn more about our work, they can go to y2y.net. Uh, I'm sure we can put all the links below the like um, button. You, you know it. Wow, yes. look at you, little YouTuber. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own page on the y2y website, so I'll make sure it's linked below. You can sign up for their newsletter and uh, just get any more info and you can always ask me questions too and uh, yeah thank you so much for being here on this weird fun adventure with us it, let me know if you try the bird seed bars because like they're pretty awesome really really good and uh, yeah if you haven't already i'd love it if you subscribe <laughs> subscribe to stem kitchen on youtube you can also support me on patreon and uh, yeah thanks for watching we'll see you next time on stem kitchen bye, bye. hi babies yeah. Hi. Listen to your sounds. Listen to your beautiful sounds. You know, I have a birdseed bar in my pocket. Yeah, I bet you can smell it. Stump Kitchen, Stump Kitchen, gluten-free, vegan eats, stumptastic treats.